A moment ago, we were speaking about the uh, the importance of, of naming positions, whether it be a public relations, communications, marketing, or advertising. In recent years, those terms have become you know muddled together, um, and especially advertising and public relations, um, and also on the agency side, you, you know, um, a lot of mergers um, and whatnot. Now, what what do you feel um, that has ha has impacted the industry overall of public relations? I think it's resulted in a certain amount of confusion. I think that uh, public relations uh, is not really, uh, the definition of public relations is really not clear even to many if not most public relations practitioners. Uh, most public, many public relations people equate public relations with communications and only communications. I think communication is only one half of the overall process. I think the other half is counseling, consulting with management on uh, strategies, on behavior patterns, on uh, uh, decisions, uh, and then communicating. Uh, one of the most simplistic definitions of public relations that I know of is public relations is doing good and getting credit for it. First you have to do good. I don't think all the communications in the world can accomplish any, any real good or lasting good unless it is based on good conduct, good behavior, uh, providing a satisfactory service, providing a satisfactory product. Uh, I think that the big mistake is when people say, shall we use advertising or public relations to, uh, uh, to help uh, support a product sale or an issue or whatever. Uh, actually, uh, public relations is really more of an umbrella term even than advertising. Advertising can be a subset of public relations and is in many kinds of programs. Basically, the, I equate the term publicity with advertising. Uh, getting material to the uh, c potential consumer uh, or the person you want to motivate through other media and doing it in a way other than buying paid advertising space or paying for time on television or uh, radio or the internet. And what do you feel is the future of your industry? If you could look ahead 10, 20, 30 years ahead into the future, where do you think the public relations industry will be situated at that time? I think it will be increasingly important uh, and I think there will be you know a role for both agencies. I think the importance of the position internally will continue to uh, uh, accelerate. Uh, I think uh, the global firms will uh, play an increasingly important role because I think uh, companies now are beginning to recognize that uh, uh, you have to speak with one voice around the world, uh, that you are one company around the world and that uh, you have to have people who help cement your organization. And, and I think the, the big public relations firms are, are capable of doing that. That's not to say that there's not always going to be a place for the midsize and the smaller boutique firms, but I think when you have global businesses, you're going to have to have large global organizations to serve them. The one differentiation of Burson Marstella from its eight or ten major competitors is that we, more than anybody else, are one company around the world. Uh, we have a single culture that I think most people in other agencies would recognize as probably the standard against which to measure. And the way that came about is that we were able to grow organically around the world as opposed to going out and buying up 
a lot of different agencies and trying to clobber them together. Uh, we were able to do this over a 40-year period, and we would usually send our own people into a country, hire local people, train them, and our objective being to have local management as quickly as we possibly could in the various countries around the world. And I'm very proud today that uh, uh, there's hardly an office outside the United States that's not managed by a local national. Uh, some of them are managed by third country nationals, but there are very few Americans who are managing uh, offices in countries outside the United States. Uh, and we have a communication system that we have developed, a uh, computer allowing us to do this, uh, that's really uh, tied our company together. We have the largest data bank of case histories, largest data bank of programs of any agency around. And that not only keeps us from reinventing the wheel every time we do a new type of project, but it also establishes a uniformity. If you go to one Burson Marstell office, the solution to the problem is likely to be comparable to what other offices have done because we have all this, these cases on databases that people can see what we've done before. And we work very hard at being what we call a seamless company around the world.